What's up, everybody? Make sure you smash that like button for your boy, and welcome to the familiar. So let's get into this um, gameplay here. And this is the first game of the four. Um, defense, I wasn't too sure about because I got like five wide receivers. Um, if you watch the draft, I was very unhappy about this. But so when I first come out in the game, you have to realize what you want to do is you want to see what they're doing, what kind of defense that they're going to run or what kind of offense they're going to run in order to build that chess match. And first thing I see is that he knows how to use the hit stick. He hit sticks the crap out of me. So we're gonna run the first play, which was not a part of the scheme that I had ran. Um, I just run the random just to see, all right, he's controlling the D line. That's the first thing I'm looking at. He's controlling the D line. And I got LeGarrette Blunt go for the hit stick and just break a nasty, nasty run with LeGarrette Blunt. Like I said, 85 speed, man, you can run that in draft champs. It's not gonna hurt you too much. He has 95 trucks, so that's pretty much a good look on here. So I come out with my cover three nickel, um, putting five DBs out there. I'm going to see what he's going to do. And the first thing he does, and this is when I know they're bump friendly. I call him the ball, the, the bailout ballers. He's definitely a bailout baller. He's trying to throw deep. Hopefully his boy can catch it and he can come down with it. But as you can see, pick. Should have took that to the house. So we're going to run another little outside zone once. And I, uh, I wanted to show this, especially because I told you, you want to run your wide receivers on the, the short side, never on the larger side because you don't get good blocking. But we're going to throw the, uh, the corner strike out of the spread here. I really like it. He was under pressure, overthrew it. But sometimes, man, that happens. So I came back out and I re-ran it. I said, okay. Have a little bit more poise. We're gonna slide to that edge because he's getting uh getting off on that edge pretty good. Slide out to my left. Dot. Dot him up on that side with the same exact play because I know that he's running the same exact stuff. So we're gonna try and take him over the top here. Um switch to the run. Garrett Blunt gets off in the run. And I'm in the red zone. I like to run in the red zone. I generally get real run heavy when it comes to the red zone um, simply because it's you are you're going to lessen your mistakes if you if you know how to effectively run in the red zone so we spit, switch to the pistol trips which is kind of like the uh, scheme and I run it to the strong side outside zone cut it back as you can see I'm going to keep hitting that side because it's it, especially in the red zone you keep hitting that side you keep hitting that side you want him to load up, but I see that he's a D-line user. He's just trying to make his user ability. I go for the truck stick. I don't truck this man, but even better, I can get a uh, nice little gain on here. And then I'm just going to try and punch it up the middle. The biggest thing is, is like I said, you want to run run the ball, punch it up the middle with a Garrett Blunt user truck, get in the end zone. Now I'm up 14 to nothing, and I know he's a bailout baller. I know he's a bailout baller at this point and i can kind of see what's going on he's gonna try and throw it up to his guy and hopefully he comes down with it which is just it it irritates me that the guys do people do that but this game allows it and that's all he was trying to do he's not even going to run the ball he's not going to utilize his team he's not going to go with the chess match and then he runs hurry up he's just like okay i'm going to hurry up and run this so i can get this off really really quickly which more than likely is probably not going to work out for him he's backing so far out the pocket Throws it up to his guy. Bailout baller. Game bails him out. Couldn't believe it. I'm like, this guy, one play, no chess match, just down the field. Like, you're garbage, bro. You're a bailout baller. Bailout baller. And he thinks that I'm going aggressive here. Obviously, if you back out the pocket, quick tip, if you just keep backing out, out the pocket, they're going to get off the block and actually end up come up and uh, sack you. He's still trying to do it. I'm not on aggressive at this point. I don't really go aggressive unless somebody's cooking me. Tries to hit the little crazy spin. Actually gets a broken tackle, but we still shut it down. Coming up second and eight here. Um, not sure what he's going to do. I'm running my cover three stock because I'm playing pretty decent with the cover three. So I'm not going to switch uh, the cover three. Nice sack on the edge because he's backing so far out the pocket. 
and generally when you do that, they're gonna get after you. I'm gonna stay in my nickel because I know the only thing he's doing here is passing. He's not running the ball, backing out the pocket. Surprised they didn't get off, but once again, bailout baller just throws it up. And if you know that you're going up against a bailout baller, as you can see, this user swat, just swat that crap. Just get out of here with that. And, and then he's gonna try and go for on fourth and 23 on the 41. He was just not smart. Tries to throw it up and block the ball again. Because I know what you want. You literally are just trying to expect the game to cover for you, but it's not. And that's that's the pretty much the end of the first one. I didn't even get a chance to really get into the scheme, which kind of made me a little bit upset. And I apologize for that, but I did want to show you the, the gameplay. This is the second game. I didn't even realize I did not hit the record button. As you can see, I'm up 34 to 10 already. Um, and I actually got into running my scheme on the second game, but ain't too much you can do. But we're going to show you the defense. I'm going to show you the rest of the game and a couple of highlights of me running the plays. Um, some of the highlights are a little bit funky, but I'll talk them through you uh, through it, what I was seeing. So here I didn't want him to quit, so I ran man to man on purpose. Um, and then happened to end up picking it. I didn't want him to quit because I wanted to show the replays, and that's kind of why I started it. Um, but he didn't end up quitting, which was nice. So here, I'm just gonna run it, run it out. I'm not gonna do nothing too crazy, nothing too incredible. Just trying to run, just trying to run and get the clock over, get the clock out because I literally understand that he could potentially quit, and I don't want him to. So once again, we're gonna run the ball, and I, you know I like to to run heavy sets in the red zone, and I'm kind of just practicing on. What, what may work and what won't work, especially against the bailout baller, playing another bailout baller. Because um, he went deep a couple of times and he shouldn't have went. He's trying to some, some crazy plays. Uh, working on my truck stick game. Uh, very important. You know, you want to utilize the stuff that the game has in it, not just, you know, one thing. Mistake that he made is he never clicked on to that guy. He actually could have shut me down. But he tried to stay on this guy and come on the outside and stop me, but no, you know, not gonna happen. Not gonna stop me. Um, so I shut down his run to the outside. And uh, I think he ran the clock out here. Like I said, I'm running, I'm running cover one uh, only because I don't want him to quit. As you can see, bailout ballers, they know how to cancel play action. If there's anything they know how to do is cancel play action. Once again, tries to get the bail, pick him off. And now at this point, I'm just going to run the clock out. So we're going to get into these replays. I'm going to show you a couple of replays where I did run the scheme. Um, some of them are a bit slow. Uh, please forgive me. Video three and four would be a little bit better because I made sure I recorded them and I don't think the people quit. So this is the first replay. As you can see, I'm on his head, pick on his head. Just shutting him down, man. When they roll out the pocket, they expect, and this is what a lot of users do, they expect certain things to just happen for them. Uh, no, I know how to shut it down. Anytime you go against someone who knows how to shut it down. So as you can see, this is the, uh, the other play where I tell you, you got three people coming to the inside and you just send a slant. I forgot to block my tight end as I'm seeing here. But as you can see, the guy is wide open to B route. It's hard to defend this because the user is not going to know who to stay. If he goes underneath, you can go over the top. If he goes up top, you can go underneath. So it's a really, really nice play to uh, to cook your opponent with the slant coming over the, over the middle. Then I ran this as kind of like a C route, but run it really tight. Uh, it's the bench out of the deuce close. Really like this play as well. It wasn't in the scheme, but it kind of works like the C. See, route as you can see, they go straight up, come right out, especially with certain defenses that people be running when they don't base a line. And you can hit them on the outside. A lot of people don't base a line, um, and it's not a must this year. I think that you can get away with now. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to turn on those notifications in order to never miss an upload.